Welcome to another Z-Hut Arduino tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to make a laser tripwire or burglar alarm. Now this is a pretty easy project, but you are going to want to use some care because we are using a laser. And if you shine this in your eyes, you will be permanently blinded. Now this laser here is an old little laser pointer. Um, the button had quit working on it, so I took it apart and just soldered some wires to it. And it ran at about four and a half volts with the batteries that were in it, so it runs fine on the Arduino 5 volt. But um, if you were hooking this up at his burglar alarm trip wire, you're probably going to want it further apart. So, what you can do, and what I'd recommend, is an old cell phone charger. And that's about five volts. And you could hook that. Just cut the end off and wire it into your laser pointer. Otherwise, there are pre-made boards for the Arduino that you can get. But um, these little laser pointers are about 99 cents at your local dollar store or unclaimed freight. Or if you go to Walmart or Target or something like that, you probably pick one of these up for under $3. Or you can go on eBay and I guarantee you get it for 99 cents or less. And besides the laser, what we'll need is the photo eye, or photo resistor, that's right here. And depending on what type you use, you will have to change the resistor value because what we're setting up here is a voltage divider because we get a more stable reading out of it doing it this way. Then, of course, you'll need something to act as the alarm when it's triggered. And I just got a little piezo here that I stole out of an old fax machine, desoldered it, and it's not very loud, but for the uh, demonstration here, it will work fine. And as you can see, when I trip the wire and I have the, the programming for this setup to beep on and off 25 times when it gets triggered. So when you, every time you trigger it, it'll go off 25 times. And you can change that number if you only want it to go off two, three times, or if you want it to go off indefinitely until somebody turns it off that could be done as well and we'll get to that when we get to the programming but oh there we go it's been a little finicky because i got my photo lights here for shooting this and they're really really bright so normally if you just pass this through here it would go off but because of the lights i'm running to light this up it's adding a lot of extra light but as you can see, it does work. And I'll show you in the sketch how you can change the sensitivity to this too. So um, with that, why don't we jump over onto the computer and we'll run through the code and show you all the different options you have there for changing it for sensitivity and stuff. So I'll see you there in just a second. All right, so here's the code right here. And um, if you want to uh, get a copy of this and the schematic uh, for the circuit, just look in the description down below and you'll find my website link there. And that'll bring you directly to the page on my website that has the code, so you can copy and paste it in. And it'll also have the schematic on how to build the circuit. So we got here and we start out the, the void setup and we just got the serial begin. And um, what we're using this for is to monitor it because um, depending on the photo I use, you're going to have to change the value right here, this value, to set the alarm off. So we come down and we got our integer and light, and that's going to be reading the photo resistor. And I got that on analog pin zero because we need to use an analog pin to read this. Next, I got it set up here to print the value out to the serial monitor here so we can monitor it. And then this just little 10 millisecond delay, that's just for stability. It helps keep everything working good. Then we got our if statement. And right now I got it set up. If light is less than 600, it goes off. But um, I got my photo lights turned off now because we're using a computer and when I put my finger through there my little pen it goes off every time but uh, depending on your levels and you'll have to check that you'll want to change this number here 
and this will be the number, the threshold. Anytime it's below that, and you can see on the serial monitor here, I'm running about 850. And once it goes below that, and there it was 365, it sets it off. And then what it does is it comes down here, and we got a for loop. And we just got it set up for going through 25 times. And this is the number you change right here. If you want the alarm to go off longer or shorter, you just change this number. Now, if you wanted it to go off indefinitely, I will write another code. I'm not going to try to explain it right now. But if you want it to run indefinitely, I'll write up another sketch for that. And I'll put it on the website as well. So you can just go there. And if that's what you want, just copy and paste it right in your Arduino IDE. The next we got here, this is the tone, and um, I'm on pen 2 for the tone. And whatever pen you're running, that's you change this number. And uh, I'm running the frequency of 400, or in hertz, and the duration of 100. Now, if you change this 100, it'll change, you know, a longer or shorter beat. And then I got the delay, I doubled that. So, you know, it's an on and off, on and off. Runs through 25 times. And with that, um, I mean, this code's really easy. Um, just play around with it to get it how, you know, you want the alarm to go off and what tone you want coming out and the duration. It's really, really easy. Oh, let me think here. Is there anything else to go over? Should we just wrap this up? Um, I think that's about it. Um, like I said before, this code and the wiring schematic, everything can be found on the website at uh, the link down in the description below. So with that, uh, we'll say thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut for another Arduino tutorial. And hope to see you here again. You have a great day.